our Mat Ocho YouTube channel. At kung di ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, aba, mag-subscribe na para updated kayo sa ating weekly lesson. And for today's video, we are going to discuss third quarter, week number 4, the Triangle Congruence Postulates, the SSS, the SAS, and the ASA. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's go! The most essential learning competency illustrates SAS, ASA, and SSS congruence postulates. Objectives At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Define SAS, ASA, and SSS congruence postulates. Draw the congruence postulates stated by the given condition and identify the congruence postulates based on the given conditions. Before we discuss our lesson, let us have our learning task number one. Recall me. Fill in the blanks the correct answer. Choose your answer on the box below. The choices are shape, congruent, vertices, triangles, angles, and sides. This is the statement. Two blank are said to be congruent. If their blank can be paired so that corresponding sides are blank and corresponding blank are congruent, if they have the same size and blank, and when all corresponding sides and interior angles are congruent, then the two triangles are said to be congruent. Just write your answer on a sheet of paper. Let us start our discussion about the triangle congruence postulate by the first postulate which is the SAS or the side angle side congruence postulate. Take a look at the figure. And this is the statement about the SAS congruence postulate. If the two sides and an included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So based on the figure, we have two triangles and we have here the sides, no, two sides, the color blue and the color pink, they are congruent and we have here the included angle. Remember, included angle is the angle between two sides of a triangle. So based on the figure, we can say that these two triangles are congruent by SAS or the side angle side congruence postulate. Let us have another example. Okay, so we have here triangle ABC and triangle TQR. So based on the triangles, these are the given. Side AB, okay, so this side AB, the color pink one, is congruent to side PR. Angle BAC, so this is angle BAC, is congruent to angle QPR, and that is angle QPR. Now, angle A is the included angle between side AB, so this side AB, and side AC. Angle P is also an included angle between side PR and side PQ. And lastly, side AC is congruent to side PQ. Now, based on the given, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR simply because of their side angle side congruence postulate. So we have here side AB, congruent sa side PR. Angle BAC, congruent to angle QPR. And side AC is congruent to side PQ. So based on the symbol, based on the markings, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by side angle side 
congruence postulate. Let us have the second congruence postulate, and that is the ASA or the angle side angle congruence postulate. If the two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and an included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So based on our figure and its definition, so we are looking for the two angle and an included side. Dapat nasa gitna yung side. Kasi nga, included side is the side common to two angles of a triangle. So, look at the figure. We have here one angle and another angle. Then we have here the included side. Same with the second triangle. So, since we have here two angles and an included side, we can say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA congruence postulate. Let us have another example. Okay. So, by ASA. Okay. So, we have your triangle ABC again. And triangle PQR. Now, the given angle BAC, the yellow angle, is congruent to angle PRQ. Okay. This side AC is congruent to side RQ. Now, this side AC is an included side between angle A and angle C. So, later makikita nyo yung angle C. Side QR, so this side QR is included side between angle R and angle Q. Okay? So, asan ba yung angle C at angle R? Uh, angle Q rather. Okay, so this is angle C or angle BCA. is congruent to angle PQR. So, based on the given, we can say that angle triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. That is by angle side angle congruence postulate or by ASA or ASA. Moving on to the third congruence postulate, the SSS or the side 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 congruence postulate. If the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, this is the easiest congruence postulate since we are just talking about the three sides. So, look at the figure. We have the first side congruent to the first side, the second side, and finally the third side. So, all of the three sides are congruent. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by SSS congruence postulate. Now, let us have... Our learning task number two. In our learning task, you are just going to state the congruence postulate illustrated in the given congruent triangles. So, to identify, just look at the markings on the given triangles. So, this is our item number one. This is our figure number two. This is our figure number 3. This is our figure number 4. This is our figure number 5. Again, you are just going to write your answer on a sheet of paper. If it is SAS, ASA, or SSS congruence, Postulate. Move on to our learning task number 3. Okay. You are going to draw the figure on your paper. Okay. The drawing your figure. And draw the markings in the corresponding congruent parts in each pair of triangle to show the specified congruence postulate. Then, complete the congruence statement. So, we have here an example. So, in our figure, may dalawa tayong triangle. Triangle A, B, C, and congruent to triangle blank. So, hindi mo pa alam yung name ng second triangle. Remember, pag nag-name tayo ng two congruent triangles, dapat ay nakapair sa bawat vertices. 
kung paano na-arrange yung letters ng first triangle ABC dapat ka-pair niya doon sa second name ng triangle ay yung kanyang ka-pair na vertices. So, paano ma-identify? Based on the markings. So, given angle ACB, ito yung color yellow, is congruent to angle ECD. Ayan. So, meron na tayong first pair. We need to prove that these two triangles are congruent by SAS. So, since ang given natin ay angle, meaning to say, ang missing natin ay side and another side. So, alin kaya dito sa triangle na to na ABC and triangle, the second triangle, ang congruent yung sides. So, tingnan natin since this is an example. Okay, the answer is side AC is congruent to side CE. Okay, this side AC congruent sa side CE. So, meron na tayong isang side. How about the other side? Alright, side BC is congruent to side CD. Now, question. Why is it that you choose side AC and CE and then BC and CD? Bakit hindi mo pinili yung side AB, this side, and side DE? Alright, since we are going to prove that the two triangles are congruent by SAS and the given is the angle, so, meaning to say, this angle is an included angle. It must be included angle. Of what? Of the two given sides. And side AC and side BC are the two sides wherein angle ACB is unincluded. And on the other figure, the other triangle, side CD and side CE, so these are the two sides of Angle ECD, wherein this angle is an included angle. So, I hope you understand the example. The name of the triangle is triangle EDC. Why? Because vertex A corresponds to vertex E, vertex D corresponds to vertex B, and finally, vertex C corresponds to vertex C. Since they are same or reflexive property. Alright? So, are you ready for your learning task number 3? Okay, this is our this is our learning task number 3, your task to do. So, given, we have triangle ABC and then we have here the given mark, side AB and then we have triangle blank, the given mark, side FE. So, side AB is congruent to side FE. Now, what are the missing congruent parts? And then you are going to put the markings. So, you are going to prove that these two triangles are congruent by SSS. So, what are the missing? So, since meron na kayong isang side na given, so ang nawawala, nawawala na lang ay yung dalawa pang side para ma-prove nyo na SSS. Okay? And then you put the markings on the figure and then you name the triangle. So anong name ng triangle na kapair ni A, B, C? Okay. Let us have the second problem on learning task number 3. So we have here again the figure. You are going to draw the figure on your notebook or on your paper. So in our figure, triangle ABC, so this is triangle ABC, yung nasa taas na triangle, is congruent to blank. So, you are going to prove that these two triangles are congruent by ASA. Given angle CBA, itong may mark na to, yung color yellow, is congruent to triangle DBA, itong may mark sa baba na color yellow. So, yung given natin is an angle. So, what do you think is the missing congruent pairs? So, dahil may A ka na, ang nawawala na lang ay S at saka A ulit. So, that is your item number 6 and 7. Then you put the markings on the figure and then what do you think is the name of the second triangle which is congruent to triangle A, B, C. All right. okay. So we are done with learning task number 3. Let us have learning task number 4. In this learning task, you are going to illustrate the congruent triangles using the given statements below. So, kayo na ang magdodraw ng dalawang triangles. And mark, so lalagyan nyo na ng mga markings, the specified congruent parts. 
then write the congruent postulate if it is SAS, ASA, or SSS. Use based on the given statement. Okay, so given, if angle A is congruent to angle E, side JA is congruent to side ME, angle J is congruent to angle M, then triangle J is congruent to triangle MEL. Again, idodro nyo, and then lalagyan nyo ng mga markings yung mga congruent parts base dito sa given. Ito yung given natin. Okay? And then, identify nyo, ito ba ay SAS, ASA, or SSS. Now, for your assessment, so give additional information to show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. By, okay, take a look at number one. By SAS. So, identify natin what will be the missing part. Ito. So, by SAS given, side AB is congruent to side XY. So, number one will be my example. So, ito ay side. Okay? And then, BC or side BC is congruent to side YC. So, that is another side. So, since we are looking for SAS at may dalawa na tayong side, Meaning, ang missing natin is an angle, an included angle. And what do you think is the answer? So, the answer is, angle B is congruent to angle Y. So, that is the included angle, the missing information in our number 1. So, ganun ang gagawin nyo sa number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? Sa number 2, you're going to prove by ASA, the angle side angle. Given, angle A is congruent to angle X. So, angle na yan. Bibigyan ko na kayo ng konting hint dyan. AB is congruent to XY. So, yan ay side. So, ano yung nawawala nating information? Number 3, SSS. So, obvious naman, the first given is a side. AB congruent to side XY. AC is congruent to XZ. That is another side. So, what is the missing information? So, dahil SSS yan, ano yung nawawala, ba? Number 4, by SAS in item number 1. So, sa item number 1, name the included angle. Nako, napakadali nito. And then number 5, by ASA in item number 2. Ito naman yung item number 2. Name the included side. Okay? So, that is for your assessment. And that is the end of our... Lesson for this week, number four, the triangle congruence postulate. I hope you learned the three congruence postulate, the SAS, ASA, and the SSS congruence postulate. That is very helpful in our uh, next lesson, which is proving triangle congruence. Thank you very much. God bless and happy learnings, everyone.